Smiths. This is our grand opening. Uh, just opened the door about one minute ago, so there are people lined up outside, which is fantastic. Continuing to walk in, um, which is really, really a good feeling, given the fact that this was a uh, eight-month project to open this brewery. Uh, you know, we, we built out the whole building. Um, you know, it was basically four walls and we took possession of it, so we had to incorporate everything we see pretty much. Uh, so managing that, all the New York City uh, red tape and bureaucracy uh, <laughs> was another challenge, but it's finally done as of this week, just in the nick of time. It's operational now, and this is the first time I've had to really stop and smell the roses. I've been working 18-hour days for the last month, so... How's it feel? It feels great. It really does. Yeah. And the best part of it is, aside from uh, all the work we've done and the aesthetics of the building, is that um, the first batches that we brewed turned out just the way we wanted. We're delighted. Uh, okay. It exceeded our expectations. So we're actually not going to change a thing on the rest of it. Okay. So it's, it's all good. So what are you starting out as far as capacity and styles? We've got a uh, 1933 lager, which is a Pilsner style. What's the initial capacity you're looking at? Brewing capacity? Well, we've got a 30 barrel brew house. Our okay. tanks are 60 barrel. Uh, so, you know, we can brew uh, in a month's time, we can brew easily eight or nine, ten batches. Okay. One last question. What's the number one lesson learned in trying to get this open? you got to be really, really patient. You've got to be patient. Uh, it's, you, you know, you, you hear all the time about how challenging these sorts of things are and that they're really going to test your mettle. Uh, and that's so true. And when you think you've been pushed to the very limit and you're ready to scream with a postal, uh, you're going to be pushed. 